What's going on friends? This is Java Programming Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create a Java program to generate Fibonacci series. Now some of you might be wondering what the heck is that? So this series in which the first two numbers are 0 and 1 and the next numbers are found by adding the first two digits. Then numbers before them the two numbers before then. So let's go ahead and create a new class file and I'm gonna name it Fibonacci Let's go ahead and create a main method public static void main Now we'll also need a, to have some input, so we want to create a scanner object, scanner scan equals new scanner system.n. Now you might also need want to import java.util.scanner package. Now let's create an out a statement to display how many people Naki series number do you want? Let's get go ahead and create a variable to store the input close new uh, and scan dot next int and now we also want to create three variables the integer variables I'm just gonna name it a b and c Initialize A to zero, B to one, and we also want a counter variable. Actually, it's a flag equals one. While flag is less than or equal to n. And we wanna let me pull it down. And here we should type, we should print a, and should set c to a plus b, and a equals b, and b equals c. And the most important step, flag plus plus. Don't forget this. It's the most important thing. Else it will go into an infinite loop. So to make it look a bit better, I'll add another print line statement. Fibonacci Freeze. And I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change print line to print. So that it all dis displays the entire series in one line. And I also want to add a comma next to a to just look, make it look better. So now go ahead and save it and run it. And here's the console. How many Fibonacci series do you- oh, I misspelled want. So, I want first five. And that's one through one, one, two, three. 
Let's run it another time. This time I want 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 34. Let's go ahead and correct this one first. Because it's gonna bother. Oh, yeah. So now, as you can see, there's a comma at the end. We don't want it in the end. So, what we can do is. Add an if condition if let's create a string variable first string just call it t and it should contain the command this space and just print a plus s and if flag equals n then t equals nothing now let's go ahead and test it oh there's an error oh i must i forgot the semicolon mm, what's wrong oh i called it T not S. Let's go ahead and run it for the final time. And here it says now there's no comma at the end. This makes it a little better, I think more. This time I want twenty. This time I want hundred. Well, Whoa. I don't understand how it gets negative. It gets like too big. But I don't care. So that's it for Fibonacci series. If you guys want, just comment below and I'll send you the entire code for this Fibonacci series. That was just to just how to create a program to display Fibonacci series. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more future videos. Please comment below if you have any queries. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.